But that to me is, for me, it was standing up for children who are vulnerable and have no voice. And I think for these institutions, whether USAG or the U.S. Olympic Committee or the teachers unions or Gavin Newsom, they ignored the needs of children, their own needs first. You, you were part of a, you played a role in bringing the people who are responsible for this in gymnastics to account. Do we have a line of action in education? There are a lot of people, a lot of grownups responsible for this all over the country. In fact, all over the world, New Zealand and Australia were arguably yeah. worse than here. Do you, as you develop this documentary, talk with people, what do we do next? There is no line of action. There's all this money that was set aside. I don't remember what it was called or earmarked as, but billions of dollars that was intended to be used to upgrade the schools so that kids could go to in-person school safely. And let me just say, the schools didn't need to be upgraded. Open a window and let them go to school. Open a window, open the doors, <laughs> let them go to school. That's what they did in Europe. Everybody says, oh, you can't compare to Europe. The buildings are older in Europe. If you have any sense of history, and they opened the doors and they let them come in. That's all that needed to be done. So none of that money was spent. The kids did not go back to school for close to 19 months. That money is going to be lost. It needs to be used to lengthen the school day, provide tutors to those children behind, add summer school. None of this is happening. And the biggest problem is huge swaths of kids are not coming back. So how do you tutor them? How do you extend the school day? How do you add summer school. So we need people to go into communities and bring these children back. There's an organization here in Colorado where I live called Zero Dropouts. Mm -hmm. They literally go door to door. If a child, they work with the school system, they knock on doors, they talk to parents, and they are so incredibly persistent because at first the parents won't answer. They go back again and again until they have a conversation and they get that child back in school. We need some sort of program modeled after zero dropouts because there are far too many children that just aren't attending. None of this is happening though, but my hope for the film is that it can get people activated. So how are you financing the film? That's speak, a great I, I question. Speak as a former film, Bill, I've, I've produced a couple of movies myself. They're expensive. They are. And any advice is welcome. Here's how I've gone about it. The documentary film community and those who fund it are very liberal, not classical liberal, like lefty activist liberal. And so though I reached out to many of those traditional sources who I'd known from Athlete Day, they declined. They said it was too controversial and political. So I found alternate sources of private investors and I've invested in the film myself and we need more to finish it. Do you know, I'm going to network right on the, right on air. Uh, do you know Michael Pack? I do not. Michael Pack ran the unit that uh, ran the agency that operated Voice of America. And he is a very successful documentary filmmaker. He did documentaries on Rick Over and Clarence Thomas. And he's, I'd, I'd call him, I, I'd say he's right of center. He's not, and he produced a lot of his films for NPR. And my guess, he's doing an incubator. So I think, and, and also he was on the show two or three times and, and we talked about the difficulties of quote conservative, although I'm not that, I'm not yeah. quite sure that's the right word to describe what we're talking about to yeah. get financed and to get distributed. Yeah. And have you that's thought correct. about distribution and all that? Where how are we going to, how are we going to make sure millions of people see this? That's the thing is my fondest hope is that I'm not just preaching to the choir and because I don't view this as a political film. This is about kids. So I am targeting and I've not yet reached out, but I'm about to start reaching out to the large mainstream streamers and I'll go from there. But I, I don't want to preach to the choir. I really want Americans of all backgrounds and all political stripes to hear from the children themselves. Well, that's the biggest problem. And, and Janine Eunice has written about this a lot, which is the censorship regime where you get an yeah. idea like that, like, like you have and, and a cause that you have, and it, it, it's underreported or even it's not reported at all. 